So here's all you need to know about the snow. We will escape the worst. It's suppressed well down to our south. That's it. Good night, everybody. No, we've got more to talk about there. Uh, it's going to be a central New Jersey, a Philadelphia, a Baltimore DC event. But in the wake of that storm system, more Arctic cold. There will be record low set on Monday night into Tuesday morning. It looks like statewide, but besides the cold, we could use a quiet week, and I think that is what lies ahead. Outside of some clouds and flurries, it's nothing we can't handle. 36 downtown Hartford, Windsor at 33. Below freezing now, Granby at 31. 32 at the freezing mark in Bristol. Rest of the state features temperatures in the mid-30s, with the exception of northern Litchfield County down to 28. You need to pull the perspective out just a little bit more to see where that true Arctic air is, and it's not far away. It's upstate New York, Buffalo at 12, 14 Detroit, already falling into the mid-20s in Ohio and Pennsylvania, and Burlington, Vermont at 15. So there's the Arctic front, and that cold Arctic air will be sliding in overnight tonight into tomorrow, and there's that frontal boundary. We will be just grazed by this storm system as the train of moisture moves from south to east out to sea, and again, we're just glanced by it. Let's go in for a closer look with your hour-by-hour hour forecast, and here we are this evening. The blue represents the snow showers, nothing terribly heavy. Heavy. We may escape northern Connecticut with not a flake at all. And meanwhile, on the shoreline, that's your best potential to see any kind of accumulation, really just a coating at worst. Tomorrow, we start with sunshine mid-morning after a few lingering flurries, and then we see sun and clouds. But it is brisk, and it is cold tomorrow. There's that axis of heaviest snow figure from I-195 in central New Jersey down the turnpike towards Philadelphia and points south. So if your plans tomorrow take you there, be advised it will be a slow go, but not so much for here. Here's what we're expecting overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. Less than an inch basically from the capital down to Middletown, Meriden, Portland. There could be up to an inch on the uh, southern half of the four southern shoreline counties. If I had to pick a jackpot, there may be an inch and a half closer to two in coastal Fairfield County. This is nothing we can't handle. 15 to 18 tonight. It may do nothing at all. Points north of the capital, just mostly cloudy skies. A few lingering flurries early in the morning, 18 to 20. Sun pops out in the afternoon. We should be at 42. How about 25 degrees to start the new work and school week? Here's the shoreline eight day forecast 27. It's a mostly cloudy week ahead. A couple of flurries here or there, but well below normal temperatures until we reach the middle part of the week. A couple of snow showers, maybe a rain drop mixed in on Friday. Not a big storm and we'll keep an eye on next weekend too for the potential for some rain or snow showers, but no major storms. Just a brutally cold early week ahead. Don't forget